Good afternoon, traders. It's Nolan from Trade and Train. Hope you had a great Christmas. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd give you a quick um, update on the charts. Of course, we've not got full liquidity in the markets. Uh, it's that little week between Christmas and New Year where, you know, people are on holidays. So you don't expect full liquidity really until uh, next Monday, January the 4th, 2021. And of course, today really will be the last proper day this week of trading as tomorrow is New Year's Eve and a lot of traders will be going home early to celebrate in whatever way they can with uh, everything that's going on at the moment with COVID-19. Anyway, I thought I would talk to you, or we would talk to you, about uh, a few charts of interest, actually. Uh, we'll look at Euro-Dollar, first of all. Now, Euro uh, just seems to go from strength to strength. So where is this going to end? You know, the, the point of interest really is this high here. Or, you know, we could draw in uh, a zone, if you like, maybe this kind of zone would be an area of interest for this to come into and then we'll see what happens do we reject do we you know continue to the upside but um we can see price being attracted to this zone so there's still you know still a few pips up for grabs here until we get into that zone so you know what could we be looking for well let's look at the daily time frame nice nice clear um, uptrend there and we can see it's impulsing there uh, we can draw a trend line as such so we can see our impulse there correction impulse then like a bigger correction then uh, we're currently in an impulse move so intraday traders well let's look at end of day traders first um, you know, end of day traders, we'll be looking really, this is the 8 EMA, this is the 20 EMA. You're really looking for a pullback, you know, at least into this 8 EMA on the daily, and then looking for buyers to have come in again, okay? Or sometimes we get a pullback into the 20 as well. So if we do get a pullback into this 20 EMA, then again, look for a sign of buyers coming in in so nothing for you guys tonight i would say um maybe not until sometime in the new year look for that pullback can you see here look we pull back here and then we saw um buyers just start to come in uh, a little inside bar then but then those buyers started to come out in force so we're just looking for that pullback or end of day traders looking for that pullback looking for signs of buyers coming in. Um, there is something of interest here, actually. Let me just clean the chart. Uh, I'm not sure whether it was on the daily or the weekly. Was it on the daily? Let's have a look. Yeah, uh, we could. I just spotted this here. Okay, we kind of rejected this zone four times. See something similar here. Maybe this will impulse to the top of this trend line, have a little bit of a pullback, and then start to go again. So that's something you could, you know, look out for. There's also a bit of a channel here, so it could come to the bottom of this channel before it makes that next move to the upside. So you can keep your eyes on that as well. Now, I know some of our traders out there and our followers use EMAs. So here's uh, uh, what we've got, the 20 EMA in blue. We've got the 50 EMA in red. And we've got 200 EMA there in green. So have a look at what's happened previously. We can see price, you know, can pull back into that 50 EMA in red. Okay, and then we can, if that happens, we can look for a nice buyer candle to signify that buyers are coming back into the market. Maybe that will happen, maybe we won't, we'll have to see. So we've just bounced off that 20 EMA at the moment, but um, 
For those of you who know about pivot points, we've just hit the R2 pivot point, so maybe that could be the high of the day. Um, but uh, let's take those pivot points off. So a nice pullback actually, um, either into this 50, and then we see buyers come in, or maybe this 200 on the hourly, and then we see buyers come in. That could be something you guys could look for um, if you are intraday traders. But um, yeah, I do see further upside on this really coming into this zone, which is a really interesting zone. And then uh, we're going to see, you know, what's going to happen to Euro then. Uh, dollar Yen, I wanted to look at that one as well. Um, got a bit of a, what we would call a descending wedge going on here. And there's some definite, you know, the movement is definitely to the downside, as you can see. And looking at today's daily candle, we can see compared to here, these candles here, this was a, a pullback, this was an impulse candle, okay? We've got an impulse, pullback, correction, another impulse. So we're predicting really it's going to come back into the bottom of this descending wedge. Would there be an opportunity to um, to trade this short into this uh, bottom of this wedge? Perhaps. Um, me personally, I would use I'd be using EMAs, um, and I'll be looking for that first pullback. Um, you know, like we did here, we had a nice impulse, we had a pullback, and then we had an impulse. So here we can see a nice clear impulse. I would like to see this pullback maybe into somewhere like 103.4 looking at this okay but i'd like to see a pull back into the emas or a bounce off the 20 or a bounce off the 50 sellers come in and then looking to sell on a nice rejection candle there so really looking for price to have that pull back really nice zone here you know can extend it across as well support support broken Look for it to be retested, look for a rejection candle, and then look for an opportunity to sell. Let me just clean that up like so. Um, in fact, I'm just gonna put that in actually for my reference. You know, what I'm looking for. Keep that one in. Um, and pound USD coming into a really, really interesting zone at the moment. Why is that? Well, look, four hour chart. When you look at the four hour, whether you look at the daily, let's look at the four hour. Um, look at this zone here. Okay. We've had a double rejection of this zone. Okay, and we're in this zone again. So this is really important um, area for cable or pound USD. Are we going to reject again? Okay, or are we going to have a nice clear break? In which case, what we would do is, okay, if price does break to the upside, we let it break, let it pull back, okay, let it let the correction take place. Then we'd look for buyers to come in again after a retest of this zone. So this could play out really either way. We may see sellers come in at this zone. Um, so, you know, intraday traders um, will be watching this zone pretty closely. Um, end of day traders, you know, if you want to trade GBP, if this candle was to close something like this here on the four hour, well, it's actually an inside bar at the moment, but this could be buyers. The way this candle is at the moment, it's called a doji, meaning the open and close are very close together. This could be those buyers um, kind of dying out, if you like, and then a kind of equilibrium between buyers and sellers, and then you'll see sellers come in. So just look out for that. Look for sellers to come in at the moment because it does look quite interesting. Um, it does look as though that could happen but you know it's one thing anticipating what's going to happen we need to see some valid signs from the market 
that that is what's happening and then we can look to trade it because this could easily still break to the upside we think we've got um boris johnson speaking anytime now actually so who knows what's going to happen here maybe actually sit this one out until um that speech has finished but um anyway pound usd great great area the other chart i'm gonna have a, a look at is silver now gold and silver precious metals are seasonally bullish at this time but um, certainly with gold and silver we're not really seeing it but silver is the one of interest for me because um, this to me looks corrective in nature okay it looks corrective after uh, a nice big impulse candle so look for look for silver to break out okay look for silver to break out of this and then looking to retest these highs here because we do have that seasonality um, we normally see precious metals it's uh, going through January and uh, part of February as well we normally see them gain uh, strength so just keep your eyes on this. The EMAs on this hourly are in order for an uptrend. You know, we've got the 200 above the 50 above the 20. We just need to see price break out of this. Look for that pullback into the EMAs and then, or a retest of this trend line actually, and then look to buy it. So just have your eye on this. Wait to see if this does have a nice impulsive move to the upside. Look for that first pullback. Yeah, and then look to trade that long. So, hopefully, that's uh, give you given you some charts to uh, keep an eye on. Um, we've got a 90 day uh, Forex Trader challenge coming up starting January. I'll put a um, some details about that in the comments. And uh, yeah, just from me and the team at Trade and Train, we wish you a really, really happy new year. We hope you've had a good one. Um, you know, it's been a tough year, as you know, for everybody. But uh, let's hope that 2020 brings um, some big changes and some good changes for everybody. So from me and the team, I wish you a happy new year and we'll see you really, really soon. Bye.